everybody, this is Ori, and I'm going to show you how to use Reflector 2 in order to share your iPhone or iOS screen onto your actual uh, computer, your desktop, your laptop, etc. Um, so uh, basically, what you want to do first of all is go to Reflector 2 and download, a, of course, buy or, or try, uh, download the actual software itself. Okay, so once you actually do that, you're going to run, install, etc and uh, if you click on it right here in the system tray you'll actually be able to see the configuration okay um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go to the configuration and click on preferences okay uh, so I just want to go over some important things so number one is this is the actual name your phone is going to connect to okay so you want to name it in the way that is uh, describing the best uh, your desktop itself so your phone knows which one to connect to. Uh, the second thing is you'll need to actually set up the correct um, video, the correct resolution that your iOS, your iPhone is going to actually use AirPlay to transmit to and of course the, the better quality the better itself. Um, also you'll need to be able to configure if you want to have a password to connect to your uh, to stream to app to your actually computer or if you just want a no password just as long as you you're on the same Wi-Fi network you can connect uh, in this case I did a on-screen code which I think is a little more secure oh, or you can select a password as well or click none for none okay next one um, the uh, when when the actual phone and you'll see on the screen shortly when the phone is actually transmitting to the desktop you want to select what type of background you want either your desktop background or some kind of color okay uh, the recording itself you'll be able to select the resolution if you do decide to actually record the frames per second the quality okay um, so you can play with those depending on how your computer is how your connection is you can play around with those the better quality the better you can view it later on okay uh, these are for uh, some other for a reflector director and students I'm just gonna put this aside for um, shared connections things like that okay um, and uh, you can also stream to your computer and also stream to Google Cast now I haven't tried Google Cast because I have a Chromecast uh, but uh, um, it's uh, interesting to try and maybe we make a video on that uh, later on okay so once you've set that up and you set up your configuration you're actually going to go to your screen so I'm going to connect and show you what I'm basically doing I'm going to connect it so you can see the phone and then show you what's going on okay so um, now that it's connected let's go here I'm going to and I'll show you the steps second okay so now I need to enter my code right in order to connect because I set up my settings okay perfect so basically what I did in order to connect was I'm on my phone, I swiped up from the top, and on the, on the bottom right-hand corner where it says desktop, I actually, uh, beforehand, now I'm connected, but beforehand it said AirPlay, okay? And uh, basically when I clicked on AirPlay, I selected the specific name that, uh, that uh, we configured a second ago in the actual app. And so that's the name, in this case, desktop PDEE8BN. And once I selected that, I'm just going to select on the, uh, I clicked on the mirror toggle to turn on mirroring. And when I did that, you can see the screen right here. That's basically it. Very, very simple. So now uh, all you need to do in order to record is just click on the record button right here. Okay. And if I click on it, it'll basically start recording. Um, and so I can also drag the phone, make it smaller, larger, depending on the resolution, okay? And uh, that's it. So let's click on record. Let's see what's going on here, okay? This. Okay, it's not recording. Here it is, okay? So now it's recording. So now it's good. When I want to stop, let's say I'm moving, I swipe, I kind of use, I do my recording. And when I want to, I'm just going to click on stop. And so when I click on stop, the status goes. Um, and now I can start sharing it, basically saving it as an MP4 and viewing the video. That's it. Very, very simple to use. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Okay, here's how the mirroring looks. One, one last thing. 
I'm going to turn off mirroring and now I went back to my desktop. Okay, click on save. Thank you.